Hello everyone, this is my new plug-in hybrid car. It actually is an electric car that can run for 43 kilometers or 27 miles if you like, using electric mode only, but also it can run as a normal hybrid car using gas and electricity. The big question is, does this car get into my radio while charging it in the radio station at home or while driving it? So that's a big question, so let's find out. Okay, first let's do a tour of my new car, which is a Hyundai Sonata 2017. It is a plug-in hybrid uh, rechargeable car, which can run for 27 miles or 43 kilometers, if you like, uh, electric mode only. It's very, very economical and I'm very satisfied with that car. So that's the ultimate luxury package uh, and uh, that's the only plug-in model that is available in Canada. I have full control, now it's in electric mode, just switch to hybrid mode and I can also, as you can see, I have, I make like 2.1 liter per 100 kilometers, that's pretty, pretty neat and I can even charge the car while driving it or and while the motor is running, running right now, that's what you can see and then I'll be back, uh, you see this is charging the battery, it's in French, I can also select French, hybrid mode and back to EV mode, which is electric. Okay, let's press monitor just to see if when we start the car, so sorry, maybe you won't see, but it's on the airbound right now. So let's start the car. We did earn a click when I started the car but not much now the car is started it's on electric mode only So that clears it out. For me, there is no interference at all with my new car. Uh, at least for the Sonata plug-in hybrid, there is no issue for interference. Right now, it's charging outside. There is no interference here. You can see the 20 meter, but it's like that on all band. It is connected to the external antenna. There is no propagation. So it would be a good time to see if there's some interference while it's charging. It does not interfere with my radio. While I was driving, even electric mode or hybrid mode, there is no interference as well. Everything is clean. Uh, I get a glitch when I start the car and when I lock unlock the door. Otherwise, it's pretty clean and there is no issue at all, even when accelerating and so with the antenna in the car. So it's, uh, it's very good. So if it's something you were looking for for the future and you had some concern for your radio, well, there is no interference, at least for that model so uh, and uh, i really like uh, i hope i really hope that you uh, you enjoyed that video and if you like it just subscribe and just do a like that that's always appreciated i will be in dayton in two weeks i don't plan to film very much over there but i will post some pictures on my twitter account so and if you see me there come and see me and shake hands in the meanwhile i won't be posting any video online because i'm very busy at work and if i want to leave for vacation so i need to finish all my stuff and uh, there is a review that is coming i want to review again the open spot which i tested last summer and a lot of, i have a, a lot of requests to uh, review again th this unit that had a lot of upgrades since then and also I will uh, review the SDR Play RSP2 with the SDR Uno software. Uh, it's something I plan to do as well, but it won't be until I get back from Dayton. So 73, see you over there. I hope to see you over there. So catch you some other time. 73.